on Apocalypse. Three, the Apocalypse, two, likely a little bit of a stage advantage to Maggie. She survived her own Apocalypses, but <laughs> has the axe in hand to start this off. And Pierre does not care. He's already just swinging on Pugsy. Yeah, no, like you said before, no chill. Like, literally no chill has been Pierre's game plan uh, so far today. It, no, well, yeah, no. Well, I mean, yeah, no chill. Zero chill. None to be found. <laughs> Pugsy struggling to find the hits. The shots come out from Pierre. Nice punish on that one. And trying to drop down these, uh, the their, their spacing has been very solid. Gonna get the D-Light Sarah to send them back off stage. Pugsy, you gotta be careful. And that recovery is not gonna be enough to take it out just yet here, Duke. Yeah, but that was really close to doing so. Pugsy is taking damage and that one will KO. Pierre has so much health to play with. These blasters are going crazy to start off. And now we're going to see the switch off to the guitars, which the story has been guitars are very good right now in the hands of everyone. They have been performing so well. Each one of these top eights doesn't matter the region. Yeah, guitar believers feeling real good right now. Oh, catches Pugsy's landing, goes for extra there. Didn't get the side light. Oh my goodness, Pugsy actually cannot play the game. Uh, I do not remember the last time Pugsy got a hit. Thank you very much for answering my question. It has been one day since Pugsy has hit it on the move. <laughs> no, it's been three days to with not a uh, Pugsy hitting something incident. Well, finally gets one, but that still wasn't even enough with that side air. Now getting over to the sword, instantly tossing it away. One side air should do it, potentially an end light, but at this point, it's the the difficult task is even getting a hit on Pierre. Oh. That is gonna, that shit calls it. Oh, yep, that's a stock. And Pugsy down to his final one. Pierre, so healthy, sitting on three stocks. This is gonna be a tough game for Pugsy to take back, but he gets one, marching closer. Now it's not unfamiliar territory for Jala to get a very fast stock. So you got to be careful here. If you're Pierre, you've been controlling the game the whole time. So you, the confidence factor is definitely there. Also, this is actually something uh, worth noting. In a pre previous set, he had 151 damage unarmed. Uh, he's been playing as a three weapon legend. So at quote unquote from Taza, and it's continuing here in winter semis. Yeah, he. I mean, he. The weapons on the left side. He's just gonna start swinging, trying to hit Pugsy, but he backs away, picks up the blasters. Pugsy took that opportunity to get some damage added up onto the second stock of Pierre, but now it's Pierre blasting back. That, that'll trip you up too. There is the sword. It's still not enough to take a uh, knockout off the top, but recovery's gonna miss. That's a bad position. He actually was able to sneak right under him. No, oh, Pugsy could get this to final stocks, but the side air range of Pierre gets him back to the wall. Definitely one of the best interactions you can ask for when you're trying to get back on sword v uh, blasters. Being able to use your uh, Sarah to get back. Good stall there too. Using the Nair to just drift a little bit longer, and now he has stage control. And he has the down light into the recovery, almost gets it. Ground pound to dip lower than Pugsy can hit. I like how he went for ground pound immediate Sarah just to guarantee if Pugsy rushed down, it wouldn't have knocked him out. But the neutralize is gonna come in. Uh, curious to see what Pugsy decides to stick with here. And it's going to be the sword for the last stock. Gonna get hit by ground pound though. Yeah, I didn't think he could safely swap weapons there. You saw him jumping really high, just expecting like the respawn recovery some people will do. But either way, Pugsy's one good hit from doing that, falling off the map and giving Pierre game number one. I must look at this unarmed stat. I absolutely have to see this. Uh, that, that, I, I know, I know 112. 30, 112. Four less than that his guitars. That was almost the same as the guitars. That's crazy. 383 on the blasters, which was shown very early on from uh, that extremely dominant start almost getting a double recovery knockout at the very beginning of the game. Uh, to continue that and keep it going afterwards, Pierre is playing uh, honestly on a very scary level. I think it's been a while since we've seen Pierre play to this degree. And I, I, but Pug, I, I don't even know. What do you think Pugsy needs to do to answer back? Does it need to be primarily <laughs> axe or sword? Win. <laughs> win, <laughs> win, get a hit. <laughs> Stop getting hit. That would be a nice tar starting point for sure. <laughs> I mean, like, I can't, like, right now, I can't even think of the last time Pierce top aided in a 1v1. Like, that's a good question. He's Let's so, find out. like, out of the conversation, and now he's coming back swinging, forcing himself to be a known name, go, getting ready to go into BCX. Man. Let's see. So, uh, community tournaments wise, fantastic. Uh, th third. Oh, the uh, down sig. And, yeah, but multiple mo uh, moose wards, thirds, fourths, everything else, though, all out of top eight. Uh, it's been 13th, 17th, and 25th, but hasn't been able to get back here. And now vying for a potential top three finish. Gonna get knocked out right there, but he's playing on fire.
Yeah, he's he's looking so solid. That slight misstep, great punish from Pugsy, but Pierre definitely not shaken at any point. That's actually crazy to think about stat-wise. I'm very curious if it's ever happened before. Jetbean went from being no, nowhere to second, uh, and, and then it was AO Blue who can't constantly had lower placements into second, and now Pierre who now not as bad a placement, of course, with 13s and such, but still jumping all the way to potential top three. That's not very common, three people in a row doing that. Dude, that's just a, a North America, apparently, is <laughs> you can't sleep on anyone. Somebody is coming out to get you. But Pierre needs to find some more hits here as Pugsy's starting to land more, but Pierre finds the blasters and he's to find the downlight side air. Yeah, Pugsy just trying to find his way back on here. Like we said before, never count out, but well, I mean, we're gonna count out this stock at least. Uh, because there should be a ground Ooh, pound. Oh, okay. no, doesn't get the ground pound. The so Pugsy still gets a hold on to the second stock at least a little longer. Yeah, got one more extra hit. Downlight thrown out from Pierre. Doesn't connect. Pugsy trying to find the opening in. Gets the axe. Avoids the downlight. Doing very well around these downlights. Get up with the D-light. Can try to get him with the stare, but it's not going to work. And Pierre going for these high jumps. At some point, it's going to get punished by recovery from Pugsy. No, Pierre. Not finding the finishing blow. Needs to find the recovery or the downlight to set it up. No, it's going to be the Sair with the amount of damage he's been able to put out onto Pugsy. But there's a real possibility if Pugsy can get this stock quick that we just go into final stocks clean. Potentially. I mean, it doesn't take very long to get that knockout here. Got the sword. D-Light recovery range. D-Light side air for sure. Trying to go for a raw recovery. As well, or just a raw side air. And we've got clean final stocks here for game number two. Definitely looking much better than compared to game number one where every single time Pugsy tried to, like, Force an engagement, it was almost, it almost looked extremely obvious to a degree. And this time now, it seems like he's getting a much better timing on where these dares are starting from here. Oh, but Pierre, again, down light into the recovery. Immediate dare coming out from Pugsy, trying to swing back down. Pierre going for recovery as uh, expecting to see Pugsy move off. It's not gonna happen though. Now Pierre giving up stage control. Nobody gets back up, gets the recovery again. Still getting a little bit more damage put out than Pugsy can respond with. Down light side air stage control. Pugsy has slowed this this set down uh, fantastically. This is actually looking so much better. Where Tempo was entirely in Pierre's gameplay uh, gameplay before, now he's oh. making a second guess. But what a good call! Not enough to knock out yet, Duke. Yeah, read the cross through, read the spot dodge. Pierre up 2-0 over Pugsy. Pugsy, who had to beat seed one to get here, is now on the cusp of going into the elimination bracket. Insane. Trying to get, uh, getting through Radish, now getting to this point, and it looks so much better there in that game. But that time, does not need 100 plus damage on his unarmed. He instead primarily played Katars that game. And a big part of that, we were mentioning it just on that last stock. It seems like Pugsy's gotten a much better handle on the blaster so far and where he was trying to space it. And that's what made that so much closer. Well, unfortunately for Pugsy, it's a two-weapon game, and Pierce Qatar has made up for the difference, and mm -hmm. he was able to get that final KO. Goes in for the down sig. Pugsy with the punish. He's looking better slowly, but he's already down two games. You just got to keep your mental fortitude in check. That is the part of the stats that you can't count on. You have to be able to keep yourself together, and this is exactly Woo! what you needed. A dominant first stock from Pugsy. A near zero to knock out. Got hit maybe once along the way. He put on the Taylor Swift, and he shook it off because he Ooh. is up Big over Pierre right now in game number three. Let's see if he can keep that right now. It has a little bit of bad blood between him and Pierre. Let's see if he can keep that going and keep that set count, hopefully, from falling 3-0. Mans is seeing red. <laughs> How many can we get? <laughs> I, was like, I was like, okay, I'm trying were, to think of another song. You were too quick. I couldn't think of one to follow. <laughs> but, well, right now, uh, let's see if we blast Tay, Tay up a little bit more to keep, see if we can keep this going. But uh, currently holding very Ooh, well. Stay grounded. The side say catching Pugsy. Nice turnaround. Ooh. Can't finish the stock, though. They're so low, but Pierre gets them both back up towards the stage. Yeah, very close to uh, Pierre getting ground pound in a second ago. Gonna find that stock after a very uh, un un uncommon play so far in this set. Pugsy hasn't really gone for ground pounds like that, so I like the idea when you haven't really gone for it so far. Yeah, just kind of throw it out, keep them on their toes. But good patience from Pierre. Catches Pugsy. Getting some good damage put out. Smacking away the recoveries. That's now two times in a row. He smacked away the recovery. So Pierre not able to line them up where he's hoping. And couldn't get in quick enough. He tried to drift just away because he expected either a ground pound or, uh, or maybe a dare. But the weapon toss actually mixing up the timing. But the full stock advantage now. 
Pugsy with the axe. Waiting to approach on the pier. Nair, not gonna get much else after it. And not really, not really trying to go down 3-0 right now. This is exactly what we saw at the end of last game, but Pure oh was gosh. able to close it out. And now Pugsy continuing that here as he gets three in a row and it's not stopping. Yeah, and Pierre keeps swinging with these down six, just trying to break the distance between the two of them. That's a lot of movement burn. Pugsy goes down, hits the dare. Can't get too much else, but he's getting good damage. Pugsy gonna go back over and get that sword recovery. Will not be enough just yet, but we're basically living on borrowed time at this moment. You say bald time? Borrow, borrow time. Uh, I thought you were just calling out Sparky in the middle of your... <laughs> 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 just, just start a little beef here while he's not here. Bald. Bald. Well, last time that happened, the person we were cheering for lost, so maybe we shouldn't do that. <laughs> Sparky was hoping that it would work, and it did not. Uh, but the that neutralites will, and that's going to put him on the board. Pugsy takes one, trying to repeat the performance that Luna did in his earlier match against Guichibu, where he was able to reverse three. Now Pugsy is one step closer to getting that reverse three. That's a few times. Now, actually, every game three has been won so far on this set by the opposing player. Uh, it's been up 2-0, and then they figure it out. Happened with Stingray uh, a little while ago, but Stingray was able to shut it down. Luna was able to finish it. Will that story be good for Pugsy, or will it be good for Pierre? We're going to find out, continuing right here on Apocalypse. And we'll see if Pierre can make that slight adjust, because it seemed like Pugsy had a little bit of the answer here against Pierre, especially because they keep going in the same map. There is yep. only gameplay changes that have to be made. Exactly. It's all about player adjustments right now. Uh, it seems like the Blasters are starting to finally work again, but can he re repeat that? He, he got one, but Pugsy's been answering the Blasters so well uh, at these last two games. Pugsy, again, dash dancing around, ground pound, tries to get the bounce, but didn't find the height for it. Gets it there. Ooh. Oh, he had the right call and where he was going with that recovery does not connect. Still a better start here in game number four than Pierre had in game number three, and Pugsy manages to get the wall touch. Yeah, looking for that G, uh, that D light ground pound, not gonna connect on it, and he does catch him, poking his head above. He went for it before, and he waited a little bit longer that time. Ooh, he's setting up camp. He says, this is good to go. My spot in the top three is waiting for me. But Pugsy, back to the ax. I like Off it, stage. Try, to, try to put that confidence out there. And uh, well, Pugsy, gonna give up stage control right now. He's gonna get whip punish on that, of course, but not too much. Actually, never mind. It's still continuing. Gets a side here, though. At least gets himself an opportunity. Is he going to be able to find anything? No, not really in a good spot for a Duke. Oh, but Pierre, I mean, he keeps throwing out these cigs and kind of getting away with a lot of them. That yep. side is still not enough. Pierre, oh, okay. Can't touch Ooh. the wall there. Stock count gets evened up. It's a good moment for Pugsy fans. Only getting just about orange damage done to him after Pierre's going to fall. Uh, but the Qatars have been the problem. Uh, looking at the previous sets, it's basically been around 400-ish damage for Pierre uh, compared to the game number one with the Blaster. So Pugsy yet to solve this weapon entirely. Oh, just that Nair. Oh, manages to beat out the down sig. Pugsy kind of thinking his lucky star is there because that could have been a stock. Yeah, I'm freaking out a little bit right now on Pugsy. I haven't been able to safely touch the ground in a while, and that might continue. Oh, he had the read, and he gets the D-Light recovery. It's not enough yet, though. He's so good at hitting that gravity cancel D-Light into the recovery. Pugsy has not been able to avoid that follow-up. Or he's going to get that D-Light side air. He's starting to get the damage out. That's a big whip punish. Actually, oh, never mind. A minimal Flash whip out. punish. He had the opportunity, considering Pugsy threw out that signature. Here. Not Sider. enough here yet, Duke. Weapon toss down, forces the dodge, but not able to sneak back in. Looking for the D-Light, trying to get the end lights. Anything to connect, but Pugsy gets through again. And he's actually got Pierre now in knockout percentages. This is a, a very good second stock. He's somehow been able to make work. Downline, nothing? I don't, There's true combos. I, I don't know. I, 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 this is, <laughs> I mean, sometimes you start freaking out when you're in a situation like this, but, but they're true. Well, that one's going to find it, and now Pierre moves back up in the lead. Setting up a second campsite. He needs marshmallows to fuel his victory run here. Pugsy needs that hit. Keep the stock count even. Oh, we all knew Dare. that Pierre was going to look for it. He Dare. had him in a spot, and now Pierre it might Dare. get punished for it. That's three in a row. You wanted that Qatar dare so bad. That's going to cost you. Three dares, and Pugsy sets up a education system for children, <laughs> but he's gonna try to go for the weapon denial here for Pierre, but Pierre picks up the blasters. Uh, all I can think about is just the building. This is, wait, is this a city for ants? Like, I don't know why <laughs> this is the first thing that popped my head. Right now, he is reading him like crazy. Uh, he has gotten multiple hits in a row. Pierre struggling to get ground, and he is gonna avoid the end lights, but 
This is an incredibly close game right now. Uh, Pierre has been very confident with these emotes being thrown out. Hugsy misses the sidelight. Pierre gets the read with the end it covers the dodge through, and still the damage is slightly in favor of Pugsy, but another recovery, the weapon toss. Won't be enough yet, but he is now in knockout ranges. He's gonna get away. He's gotta avoid D-Light recovery in this uh, spot now. He tries oh. to catch him, oh. but he goes to the right. Oh, he misses, and that's the stock. Pierre takes it 3-1. Pierre going from PR23 is gonna guarantee a top three finish. Standing on the podium here at Autumn's. Whether he gets first or not, he has fought his way all the way up here. An incredible performance once again from yet another lower PR player moving the way all up. That is three events in a row, and this time it is Pierre who is able to get to that spot. The upsets are happening. They non-stop, non-stop upsets, back to back to back. Uh, then we were close to we we were in a world we were close to having Luna in eliminations if uh, if, if uh, he was able to take out Guichibu a little while ago. So that's this is nuts. Uh, but this is one of the few that we were are going to see that was expected up to this point. But. Uh...